Oh yeah, this C4 is gonna get him. Hell yeah, baby. Pretty sure this guy's gonna be coming back. You guys see what I did there? I let him chase me. I let him chase me. Turn around the corner. I'm gone. Peekaboo. No way. I'm actually here. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Live Tips Tuesday where I pretty much share my gameplays unedited and I play live and I'm just going to talk through my decision making, why I'm doing what I'm doing, regardless if we do good or bad. There's always something to take away from every single situation. Wow. Unfortunately, man, we've been uh, just thrown into a match here, so I guess we're going to have to adapt. So obviously the game is pretty neck and neck right now. So the whole name of the game is to stick to the outskirts of the map. Flank the enemy from behind, such as so. Ooh, he was ready. He was ready. Okay, so obviously we're going to have to take this to two matches. One match of a half is just not enough. All right, so first things first, I'm going to stay away from my teammates. I'm just going to go ahead and flank. Flank Flanking is so much better than just kicking it with your teammates. Go to C4. Hopefully I get it. Oh, I got a hit marker. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go around for the flank. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. Hold up. Let's put this uh, field mic down. Okay. See another one coming in. Don't forget to use your equipment, guys. All right. So now my teammates are there. They got that line of sight covered. I'm going to go this way, get a different angle. Whole key is to cover as much ground as possible. All right. We're actually going to push this way. I see a little... Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh man. I, I really wanted to just hop on, to, on top of that car and just get a flank on that roof, but it's okay. Remember, we joined this game late, so we're kind of forced here to adapt on the fly. Making sure we're always ready, locked and loaded with ammo. All right. Oh. He was ready, man. He got a light machine gun. All right. Oh, yeah. This C4 is going to get him. Hell yeah, baby. That's why I love using the C4, guys. All right. Let's pop this UAV. Let's get some more information. Field mic is actually popping off a little bit. Low key. Oh, boy. Going up here, I'm going up here. Nice flank. Flank opportunity. Ooh, we got the advanced UAV. Okay, this is gonna be a nice, nice little flank here. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. All right, let's go push into this bar. Oh, we got the sniper. Mans was ready. What can I say? All right, let's go back into that direction. Throw my C4 here. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, this game plays a little bit more on the messy side. Obviously, uh, we're just kind of thrown into this match, but I'm glad to see that my team is winning. So I know there's a guy sniping in here. Oh, I might be dead. Nice one. Oh, there were two people there, actually. So I'm playing a, a little bit way too aggressive here, but that's because I'm trying to squeeze in some kills before this match ends. There he is. I see him. See if my C4 can reach him. Nope. Oh, man. MP5 user, ladies and gentlemen. You already know the MP5 is amazing. Yeah, this is the unfortunate thing about joining, joining games late is like you don't really get a chance to... Uh... Yeah, man. Ha. Uh... Okay. Three kills left in this match. All right. Well, we finished off with 16 and 9. Not too bad for joining the game late. Second in uh, place here. Ooh, we even got the best play of the game. Let's go. Yeah, I can only imagine if we started this game from the very beginning how well we would do. But uh, yeah, after this best play ends, we're going to flip it to the next match. And we're going to start from the very beginning of the match and just go on from there. Let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, first order of business. We're going to straight shot straight up ahead to the left side. We're going to hug the walls here and try to avoid going wherever our teammates go. That's the best thing that we could possibly do. 
Alright, I already see some action here. Get a nice flank. Come on, let's get that flank. Alright, teammate took care of him already. The, they're still gonna be spawning around here. Alright, I know he's- I, this guy's gonna have to push for sure. Alright, let's go. Oh! Came in right from behind us. Okay, no worries. I'm actually gonna go this way this time. Because look at where my teammates are at. They're going down the middle of the map. You want to avoid the your own teammates. Hopefully, my teammate behind me is running ghost. That's why I also like to stay away from my teammates. Get a nice flank here. Oh, I think I ran out of ammo right there. That would have been nice to get that guy. So yeah, you got to use objects to your advantage as well. Because if you don't, then you're just going to get outclassed. Movement in this game, I cannot stress it enough, is so important. Always pre-aiming around corners. Here we go. Nice. See the pre-aiming? Helps out a lot. Keeps you one step ahead of the enemy. They should be spawning in here again. I'm actually going to hop skip the stairs. See if we can get an overlook on their spawn. Alright. I think this guy might be trying to come up these stairs here. Patience is key, guys. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that was definitely on me. I, I, I just missed my shots. Hunter, straight up plane. Alright, again, staying away from my teammates, going around this way. So the whole point is obviously more one-on-one -on -one situations. You get a higher chance of winning gunfights. Always stick and move as well. Do not stay in the same spot. Always keep it moving. It's like a science, you know? Pretty sure this guy's gonna be coming back. You guys see what I did there? I let him chase me. I let him chase me. Turn around the corner. I'm gone. Peekaboo. No way. I'm actually here. Oh, man, dude. Cannot switch to the melee in time. Yeah, when people are playing aggressive like that, I actually prefer that versus people who just camp. They're a lot more predictable that way. All right, here we go. They should be spawning in here on this side of the map. Got him. Got him. Let's get out of this way, though, because this it could be a uh... good job, teammate. Yeah, I was afraid that the spawns, they were going to spawn over there. I'm seeing him on the minimap. All right. Uh, try to get up here. Oh, what? How can we not go up there? Oh, they have a harp. We got to get out of here. Yeah, when the enemy has a harp, ooh, it's bad news. We gotta get out. We gotta avoid our teammates. We gotta play more defensive now. Nice little field mic here. Come on, I know you see me on your minimap. Oh! Man, not much we can do there. What the? Oh my! Obviously, the advantage for them is they have, uh, advanced UAV. Throw my C4, let the C4 do work for me. Oh, man! That would have been a nice play. I'm really hoping we can make a comeback here, make a great play. I think I did see someone. Around this way. Try to sneak our way in there. Nice. See him on the minimap? Always check that minimap. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my goodness, man. They are pouring it on us right now. They got their gunship out there and everything. This is actually suicide if I go out there. We're 
gonna have to be careful here. Wait a minute. Let's watch this point of entry here. Oh. And he's shooting my body. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have been watching my videos, but I get my body shot at a lot. Can't really explain why, but uh, it does happen. It happens a lot. Part of the game, I guess. We gotta take cover. I'll find this guy with the... Okay. Let's see if we can make this comeback. Nice. Got him. Should be spawning in over here. Oh, what? And he's shooting my body again. Oh my goodness, man. A lot of toxic players on Cold War. Gotta love it, though. Hey. Come on. Nothing. We got nothing. Finally, we got a UAV here. Serious, bro? Okay, we got no choice but to play a little aggressive here. Let's go this way. Maybe his teammates here. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, you got destroyed. Love to see it. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on in. Eight streak, baby. Does he want to push this? Oh, man. Hey, we got the harp. Oh, yeah, this match is over, though. Well, I mean, we did what we could there. So basically, 33 kills, 10 deaths. We still got a 3 KD ratio, which is actually not that bad in hindsight. You know, this series is not about showing you guys how to be invincible, but how to do better, how to adjust, even if you're in a losing match, how to still be positive. I mean, look at the rest of our teammates. Nobody is positive on my team except for me. So you guys saw my gameplay, what I did. I stuck to the outskirts of the map. I literally just adjusted my gameplay. I let the enemies come to me. I use my score streaks to my advantage. And that's what this is all about. That's what this series is all about. Not cherry picking gameplay. Just here to show you guys real, actual gameplay, uncut, unedited, and how you could still finish off the map strong. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this class setup really quick. I'm pretty sure you guys are curious what I was using. So I got the AK-74U here, obviously. All right, and for the muzzle, we got the muzzle break 5.45. Barrel is the 9.3 inch extended barrel. Under barrel, we got the Spetsnaz grip. Handle is the Gru Elastic wrap. And stock is the KGB Skeletal stock. And then for the rest of the class setup, I got the Machete, Stim Shot, C4, Field Mic, Flak Jacket, Tactical Mask, Tracker, Scavenger, Ninja, and Ghost. So a little key points here to finish off this video. Again, like I said, this series is just all about showing you guys how to adapt regardless if I'm doing good or bad and what you can do personally to make the best out of the bad situation. So obviously our team was getting destroyed. Uh, we weren't really getting on really nice streaks. However, we still finished off the match Ra relatively positive even if we were getting destroyed so yeah hopefully you guys did learn something make sure to check out my other videos of this series as well because there's always something new to learn something to uh pretty much gain from from any kind of situation that you find myself in you can take notes and apply it to your own game so if you guys have been really enjoying this series make sure to leave a like on the video i'd really appreciate it it helps the algorithm know that this is the kind of series you want to continue to see in your recommended feed and make sure to subscribe to make it way back to the channel determination today make it official and i'll see you guys in the next one let's get it